Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all appropriate ages. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Hope you're staying safe and healthy and indoors if necessary. So, I got to thinking, because I've just got Friday's daily night wave challenge and Saturday's daily night wave challenge, and then I've hit level 30, and then I'm pretty much done with night wave. And I was going through this, and I was going through a bunch of all my other games, thinking, what have I got left to do on them? And I was looking at Warframe, and it's like, right, I've got a few prime weapons to get, and then I've completed the collection. Uh, focus school, I could improve on that. Other than that, it's just arcane and mod farming. Which is kind of bizarre. But then I remembered... This little gem, Conclave. And then I thought, well, I haven't played it since that time I got shafted out of that 50,000 bonus standing I should have received for completing all the daily and weekly challenges. So I went and had a look at it and I was going through my loadouts. And I wondered, I wondered, how outdated is Conclave? Because everyone talks about Warframes that need reworking, or missions being added into things like Railjack, or replayability, and what what have you. They talk about, <coughs> no one talks about Conclave these days. I've stopped even talking about Conclave at this point. And I went through Warframes, primary, secondaries, and melees. Now. Quick note, once I get a primed variant or something, I get rid of the original to save buying loadout slots. Not loadout slots, Warframe slots and weapon slots. So, if I have a prime variant, I don't have the main variant, I don't have the original. For instance, if I have an Ember Prime, I get rid of Ember. If I have a Loki Prime, well actually I kept my original Loki because he is the first Warframe I ever started using back in the day, which is 2014, Jesus Christ, seven years ago. But I went through every individual slot and looked at how much is missing, how outdated is the loadout selection. And holy shit, <laughs> oh gosh. So with that being said, like, we're going to go through how many Warframes are missing from Conclave. So you've got Baruch, Ember Prime, Garuda, Gauss, Grendel, Hildren, Inaris Prime, Lavos, Protea, Revenant, Titania Prime, Falvin Prime, Wisp, Wukong Prime, and Zaku. 15 Warframes. And I don't know out of Ember Prime, Inaris Prime, and Titania Prime, and Valvin Prime, and Wukong Prime if their original variants are available in Conclave, because I got rid of them. As I said, I get a Prime, I get rid of the original. Save spending Platinum. The more you know. And then we come to... Primaries. Now I'm not going to go through the whole list, but you're missing things like... Anything from the Exceltra to the Baza Prime to the Exegist to the Kellor to the Stelta to the Torrid is even missing from fucking all the Cooper weapons naturally wouldn't be involved in it. But if we have a quick gander, if we go to the tippy top, Gaze Chamber weapons are here in Conclave, but Catch Moon weapons and Tomb Finger weapons are not. Spore Laser Chamber weapons from Deimos are here, but the Vermisplicers are not. So if they're able to add Vermisplicer primaries, which came from Deimos, which is one of their most recent updates, why is it missing 23 plus weapons prior to that weapon's existence? 
It makes no sense to me. So yeah, there's at least 23 weapons missing from the primary weapons in the loadouts. Secondary is... Again, there's like another 23 plus. Uh, anything from the Acarius to the Hystrix to the Ocucor to the Plinks to the Quartz. You have no Gaze or Rattle Guts chamber weapons, no Catch Moons, so they've got none of those. No Spore Lacer or Vermis Splicer. So they even got rid of the Vermis Splicer in this loadout slot. But there's like 23 plus weapons from my entire weapon collection missing from Conclave. <coughs> and then we get to the joy of the melee. And that was missing another 20 plus. Anything from the Cobra and Crane to the Falcor to the Gunston to the Kreska. Ninkondi Prime, Pennant, well, understandably both Redeemer and Sarpa weapons wouldn't be in Conclave. You just have infinite ammo. None of the Kuva weapons, and none of the Zors, so you can't take your own build into it. But you're missing 20 plus. Easy. So, even though the loadout selections are severely in need of a tune-up, out of all of that, they still somehow, in primary weapons, allowed the Vermisplicer Chamber weapons to be in Conclave. Which just makes me wonder how that happened. Are they actually paying attention to what gets added in there? Are they aware? Will Conclave be binned completely because no one plays it these days, let's be honest. I mean, you've got your basic free-for-all, team deathmatch, capture the flag, and their version of a cross between rugby and basketball. And dodgeball. It's like a combination of three Lunaros. You know, there could have been some K-Drive race competitions. There could have been some Arcwing race competitions. There could be Railjack space battles between players. You know, there, there could have been some additions to this. But yeah, Conclave is severely outdated. And after going through all those lists, which numbed my mind severely, I'm going to go and re-wake up with a coffee, and I shall see you all later.